Hey, what's up everybody? And welcome to Outback with Chaz. Today, you guys, today is the day. Today will be the video that I start the selection process. So with that being said, today we're doing some ribeye steaks, some apple butter, St. Louis style ribs, you guys. But I'm only gonna put the apple butter sauce on one of them. The other one is covered in mustard, now back with Chaz seasoning. And then we got one that is also covered and mayonnaise and out back with chest seasoning so with that being said i want to thank god for waking me blessing me keeping me in my right mind giving me my health and strength to come forth today and bring you guys another fun time smoke so the grill is lit we're going to go ahead and go in and get the meat i don't know if you can see the smoke but it is lit and it is right about 250 right now so we're going to go in and get the meat come out and get this fun time smoke started all right guys back in a minute all right everybody i'm back and as you can see i'm going to be also using apple cider vinegar as a spritzer so we're going to check on the meat. The St. Louis style rib over here has the mayonnaise on it and the Outback with Chaz seasoning. That is going to be the one that I am going to sauce up with the apple butter. And this one here is got the mustard and the Outback with Chaz seasoning. The steaks also have the Outback with Chaz seasoning on those. And here we have just a piece that I cut off that I was going to just use as a sample. So this is how the meat is cooking so far, you guys. I'll be back in a minute and we continue this fun time smoke. Back in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. And I come back to reinstate that today is the day that I will be doing the selecting process. So if you go to my description, look down below with the Outback with Chaz P.O. Box. It'll give you all the information. You can send me your information or if you have a P.O. Box that you want me to send this to, just put that all in there and I will go check on that. And then once I receive those, those that information then i will package the, the seasoning sample seasoning and i will send it out to you guys so i hope you guys are excited and ready because i am i can't wait to hear what you guys think of it and what you use it on so with that we're going to get back to the video and continue this fun time smoke back in a minute so we're back you guys got the grill open just want you guys to see how the steaks are coming along these ribeyes are doing good guys got that little piece there and like I said, we're offsetting the, the St. Louis style ribs today, but we're cooking the steaks direct. So with that, I'll be back in a minute and we'll continue this fun time smoke. Back in a minute, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. And this is just to let you guys see how the steaks are turning out. And that little piece is doing good right there as well. All that juice, y'all, that's from that Outback with Chaz all purpose season. <laughs> y'all better stop playing with me but anyway we're gonna go ahead and let this continue and we're gonna come back and continue out this fun time smoke back in the minute. all right guys i'm back and as you can see i got the ribeyes off the fire right now i got them up here on this aluminum foil those yeah. and let those continue their fun time smoke and as we are looking at those we'll go ahead and look at the st louis style ribs and they're cooking nicely as well I just repositioned them. So we're gonna go ahead and let these continue this fun time smoke and we'll be back in a minute. I added some more coals. So if you see that smoke, that's what happened is I added some more coals to it. So we can go ahead and get this fun time smoke started and get it started right. All right guys, back in a minute. All right guys, I'm back. As you can see, it's a beautiful clear day today. So hey, we're gonna check on this meat and see where we're at. All right, we got the ribeyes up top wrapped up with that little sample piece as well. And here are the St. Louis style ribs. The mustard is in the front. The mayo is in the back. The mayo and Outback with Chaz rib will be the one that I put the apple butter on. And we're going to use the apple butter as a barbecue sauce today and see how that turns out. I love to experiment on different things, you guys. So this is another experiment, but it's also the day that I do my selecting to see who I send out the sample seasonings to. So with that being said, when you guys, like I said, remember to look in your comment section and see if you see that little bottle of seasoning. And if you do, that means you've been selected. So with that, you turn in your information to my P.O. box out back with Chaz. You just look for that in my description and send that to me. And as soon as I get it, I'll get ready to send out your sample. All right, guys. Good luck and back in the morning. Right, guys, I'm back. We're going to look at the meat now. It's been on for about two hours. I spritzed it again. But look at the color, you guys. Look at the color. 
and cooking good you're starting to see the bone draw back a little bit more but we're gonna let this continue this fun time smoke you guys and right about the three hour mark I'm gonna go ahead and put that apple butter on that one on the mayo and out back with Chaz and we're gonna finish out this fun time smoke so with that being said back in a minute and the ribeyes are still wrapped and cooking good along with that sample back in a minute guys hey guys I'm back and it's been three hours now and we're gonna go ahead and look at the st. Louis style ribs look at the color guys that's that mayo and Outback with Chaz seasoning right there. And here's the mustard. It's got a really nice color to it. So we're gonna get ready to apply the apple butter to the mayo St. Louis style rib. And we're gonna let it finish out this fun time smoke. So back in a minute guys. All right guys, I'm back. And I've now applied the apple butter to the marinade and Outback with Chaz St. Louis style rib. So that's what it's looking like, guys. It's got a nice little glaze. I didn't put no real thick, thick, heavy coat of it on there. I just put enough on there to give it a nice glazed look. And here's the mustard and Outback which has all-purpose season. We're going to leave it plain. I started to put some barbecue sauce on it, but I don't know. Maybe I will later. But we're going to let this go ahead and finish out. We got the ribeye steak still up there wrapped. And that little sample as well. So we're going to let this finish out and we'll be back and finish out this fun time smoke, you guys. Back in a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. And this is how the meat turned out. There's the apple butter right there. Nice color on there, you guys. And here's the one that I didn't put anything on. I should have put something on it, but I guess I'm going to leave it like it is. So I'm going to get ready to cut this up and put it in the tray and take a picture of it and we'll close out the video after that all right guys back all right here. guys i'm back and we're going to go ahead and taste the spare rib with the apple side apple butter on there not apple cider, but apple butter so we're going to see how that tastes come out loose off the bone you guys look at that Turned out pretty good, guys. I feel it's another success. That's real good. So I'm going to set this down because I got to close out this video. So if you guys like the video, hit that like, share, and subscribe. Remember to follow me on Instagram without back with Chaz. TikTok without back with Chaz. I appreciate each and every one of you that's been subscribed to the channel and following me. I also appreciate the new subscribers who have come. And don't forget, this video starts the selection process. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching.